NYU students are uh, demanding black only student housing on campus. Haven't we come full circle? I mean, this is the very issue that great civil rights leaders, no, not Al Sharpton, <laughs> that's for sure, great civil rights leaders um, like Martin Luther King went out there and battled for peacefully. And even, you know, guys like John Lewis, who just died, God bless him. Uh, they were fighting against things. Remember uh, Kamala Harris when she was Joe Biden's op opponent? She said, I was the little girl who got bust um, in the 60s. And I don't know, I think she was born in 64 or something like that. So a little weird there. But, um, you know, great civil rights leaders fought for equality. Um, we don't want to sit on the back of the bus. And I'm, I'm no expert on this, but it almost sounds like we've come to such a crazy place in our earth that New York University signaled they are open to a student group's demands to create black residence floors, um, but now the proposal is receiving backlash. Um, re residential life staff have reached out to the authors of the petition to discuss how we might move forward with their goals. Given the COVID-related challenges to the housing system for 2021, these conversations would be aimed towards 21-22. A themed engagement floor for black students is being pushed by a group called Black Violets. Marginalized groups like queer students and international students already have access to such floors, Black Violence told Fox News in a statement. <clears throat> They will live on the floor, will be accepted or rejected on a fact, none other than their statement. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know, man. If that's what the kids want, these days, you know, everybody gets a participation trophy. So if you ask for it, um, and, you know, instead of being the Violets, which, is, if you know anything, NYU is the Violets. That's their name. I mean, Frankie went to NYU. We have the uh, esteemed Professor Barry Goldsmith and... Quite the huckster on the show every Friday. He's a professor over at NYU. They're called the Violets. This group is the Black Violets. Okay, I can understand it. But just remember that many men before you fought, took beatings, took arrests, had their lives taken from them to fight for the right to everyone to be perceived as one. <laughs> so you're almost taking us back into prehistoric times. It just doesn't make sense. And, and quite frankly, um, it's just the whole society. If you look, and you know, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to wax poetic a minute, give you a little Staten Island psychology uh, philosophy, okay? If you look at the whole movement on the left now, the progressive movement, they want, they want disorder, civil disobedience, Barack Obama refers to these kids expressing themselves. The, the, the mayor of, of Seattle is saying that it's a summer of love. Uh, Chicago Mayor Lightfoot is saying that these people are peaceful. If you look at it, okay, they want radical, extreme changes in America. Um, they want to, the Green New Deal, take a look at the Green New Deal, AOC, who was bartending three years ago. God bless, you know, America on that one. Um, but she was bartending three years ago. She's going to be the energy czar. And she's been pushing this plan for a while, the Green New Deal, um, which gets rid of fossil fuels completely. So less cars, people on that movement say, oh, we don't even need one car in a household. We can make it work. We can have a community car service. And it's like, Bizarre, no planes, no trains, no automobiles, no coal, which runs all of our factories and all of our energy plants. Um, so if you look at it, across the board, they want violence. They, they want to take over cities. They want no police. They want a lawless society, where I guess we were at some point, uh, aside from like local militias and people who kept the peace. But you know, we were, at one point it was, you know, rape, pillage, barbarian, right? lawless. They want to take us back in time. And they want us to be in a place. Joe Biden, he wants to defund the police. He says redirect funds. He doesn't want to, it's not redirect. Redirect, redirect means reduce. Send somewhere else. Okay? And I guarantee you, as he's done over his 47 years 
down in the swamp. Donald Trump Jr. said it the best last night. He's the Loch Ness Monster of the D.C. swamp. He pops his head up every 10, 15 years and runs for president. And he's doing it again. He's like whack-a-mole. Okay, but now the mole thing is a little slow. He pops up and then it doesn't go down fast enough. So he keeps getting smashed over the head by the Donald Trump club, which is pounding him every single day. And Joe's over there recording his speech and Donald Trump's doing stuff off the cuff, talking to regular everyday people. Um, Joe, they got him social distance, um, or shall we call it socialist distanced, because the whole thing of taking us back in time to, to times where the government rations things to people, like health care. That's what they want, where government overtaxes you and nationalizes things. 40% tax, Joe Biden said. And Donald Trump's economy is still rolling, even with the pandemic, the impeachment, the Russia hoax, the Antifa, the Black Lives Matter, and he's still phew, slamming them with the club. We'll keep doing the same kickoff hour, too, right after this.